honored to have these two, uh, these two young winners here today. Um, the K Family Foundation is a very unique foundation sponsoring this program, and this is our third year to honor these students through the K Family Foundation. Our first 2016 Apreneur Scholar winner is Brandon Boynton. Brander, uh, Brandon is the creator of the Bully Box. Let me read to you a little bit about the Bully Box. Uh, the Bully Box is a mobile application that facilitates safe and anonymous student reporting of bullying and other school-related safety issues. With a subscription purchased by a school district, the Bully Box Pro mobile application is available free to students. The app is available both on iOS and Android platforms. In addition, students who may not have access to a smartphone or other wireless devices can also make reports from any internet-connected de uh, desktop computer. Reports are submitted by students and they're automatically forwarded via email to designated school administrators for investigation. In addition to the primary reporting function, we have included uh, in the bully box an accompanying data analysis tool. This allows school administrators to review real data, better positioning them to effectively review and revise existing bullying related policies. The bully box right now, as of today, has been adopted by, in 14 states and four countries and providing a voice to over 60,000 students. Um, having recently kind of diversified the revenue stream, Brandon and his group at the Bully Box has also created a free version to schools as well so that they can take advantage of this service. So if everyone could please join me in congratulating Brandon and his creation of the Bully Box mobile app. I just want to say thank you to the Kay Family Foundation and Transforming EDU for making this opportunity possible. It's, it's a real honor to be an Apreneur Scholar, and uh, like I said, I'm, I'm very honored, so thank you. Thank you, Brandon. Brandon's in high school, and he created the Bully Box. How cool is that? Okay, let's look at our second winner. Our second winner is Shaolin Shaw, creator of Voice. Voice is an app that lets the user take a picture of anything that has words on it and reads it out loud. People with visual impairment or dyslexia can easily snap a photo of anything and have it read in a matter of seconds. Voice can speak just about any text, whether it's a menu at a restaurant, a medicine label, an expiration date on a milk carton, or even information at a board at a museum. To take aid in the photo, voice automatically detects the document and says if all four corners on the document are visible. It reads, it reads the words by columns, such as in a newspaper. Additionally, voice can read multiple pages, one after another, like a book. It's also available in 30 different languages. Voice also has many features that help the blind achieve maximum ac accuracy when using voice. Voice corrects any skew or angle that the photo is taken so that the photo becomes straight even if it was taken at an angle. It also cleans noise from the background and equalizes the brightness and contrast. It can also estimate the corner, corners of the document and take a picture all by itself. Out of the 6.1 million blind people in America, 4 million are unemployed according to the National Federation of the Blind. Apart from being blind, these people face massive unemployment. Uh, Shaolin's project has inter, 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 uh, engineered a solution to these problems because it's completely free compared to the expensive, non-portable solutions in the market and allows blind people to portably read everyday items through quick, quickly taken photos in a matter of seconds. So if you all again will please join me in congratulating Shaolin for his creation of voice. Um, I just want to thank the K Family Foundation and Transforming EDU. Uh, this is a huge, huge honor, and thank you to everyone that's here today. <laughs> 